and girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well oopsie you're probably seeing this title and being like shannon after your primark haul did you need any more underwear yes oopsie guys i i kind of had a little bit of a blip i was out shopping just thought i'd have a little look let's see what the new colors are the new colours are gorgeous, okay? Um, and I've got a few different pieces for me and I want to address the point again when people say, why do you buy underwear because you're single? Underwear is for me, okay? I want to look nice. I know it's just me in my bed, but I've got like my cushions and that. I need to be nice, snuggled up. I need to be comfy. And I don't think there's anything better than when you've got out of the bath, like a fresh head to toe shave, you're all exfoliated, lathered up, new pyjamas freshly washed pajamas sitting there and a nice new little matching set and i mean if you can't show up for yourself it's a poor old do ain't it so yes we have some pieces to match previous bits so if you remember vaguely like bits and bobs of my own summers before you will know there are a few key items that i actually love 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 in my lingerie collection and i like to think I kind of maybe know a little bit about lingerie because I am an addict. I'm not going to lie, I'm an addict. And if you know me that well, you know if there's a haul of this, there is going to be a haul coming very soon as well of a fellow lingerie brand that if I go to one, I can't really go to without the other. It's kind of like TK Maxx and HomeSense. So yeah, there may be another lingerie haul coming very soon. But don't judge me. Let's sit back and get into this big box of goodies and you're probably thinking as well shan you're very cash i'm in my dressing gown which is actually from man summer so i thought it's quite fitting it's too hot it's too hot i was going to put a face full of slap on and i was just melting i was absolutely melting so we've got lashes we've got lashes and a little bit of lip balm and my rosy cheeks as always shan stop rubbing and let's get into the haul <laughs> right let's get comfy and what are we thinking this is the first time i've like had my hair plaited because it's actually the first time i washed my hair yes i know i think it was about 10 days two weeks from when i had my hair done to when i first freshly washed it and this is the outcome we've plaited it she has a little bit of a curly sue but we're gonna go with it right i mean you've only got to look in it's colorful isn't it? it is colorful so let's have a look what am i going to start with Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to start with, again, you know when I say like, so last time there's like a few sets that if they bring new pieces out in those ranges, I have to get them. So one of my favourite sets from Man Summers is called the Hero Set. They do it in like a bodysuit, what do you call them, like a bodysuit baby doll style outfit. They do it in a bra, which is actually what I have on right now, a little bit fitting. And then you have the high-waisted briefs, which was my first set that I had the high-waisted briefs on, and it absolutely sold me. Tucks in your muffin top, makes you look nice. It's like a mesh bag, very cheeky, very cute. Then you get the thong as well. They've started to do some other pieces, which you know what? I've picked up. Some of these bits, you might think, why on earth do you need them? I'm not going to lie. There's some bits in here that I have never tried before, but I'm going to give them a go because you know what? I've ripped myself off to I'm 30. Hopefully when I'm 30, I might find someone and then maybe someone else could appreciate this. Who knows? But for me, I have bought certain things at the moment to be selfish for me. And I think there's actually a really funny reason, which I hope you find funny, but we'll get to it when we get to it. The Hero, they actually started bringing out stockings. So they do a waspy, waspy, which is kind of like a big belt that kind of covers your muffin top as well. But I don't know. I... I love stockings, but I can't get on with the suspender, like, clipping them up and, oh, no, it's too much headache. So, I would love to look like this picture, but I can't. But I did see the stockings, and I was like, oh, yes, I like you, because it matches the bra. And the whole thing with the Hero range is black with, like, red rose and leaf details. So, I picked these up in a size small to medium. Oh, is there no prices on them? Right, hold on a minute, guys. Let's get up on the Alan Summers website. I've got to tell you the details of all of this because we can't be having Anne Summers, Anne Summers. Is it bad that it's like on one of my favourites? Oopsie. Let's have a look. Anne Summers, Anne Summers. Right. Last orders. Oh my God, I'm even logged in. 
that's when you know you're an addict, ain't it? £12, which I don't think is too bad for the pattern of them because I think the Hero is quite, it's quite an expensive range in there. But I thought, you know what? I'll gradually build up the whole set. So first off, we've got some stockings. And then we may have <laughs> some more stockings. You'll see them in a bit. Let's pop them down there so we can get to the good stuff. Right. I'm going to start with this because I just... I fell in love. I fell in love. Oh, these have got the price on. That's fabulous. So, there seems to be a trend at the moment for the underwear to have, like, two strings. Like, so you have the one that could obviously, like, sit on your hip and then one that you could pull higher. So, you know me. As soon as I saw this design and colour, I thought, you are gorgeous and you are coming home with me. It's kind of like a lime green, I would say. And these were £15. But you see what I mean, guys, about the two strap. Like, it is a very, very thin thong back, but you've got the two straps. So I don't quite know whether I would pull both of them up or have where it's like one lower, one up. I will leave the links um, to everything that I can down below because YouTube doesn't let you put too many links because it says there's too many characters. But... I'll try and put like the general thing because where some of them are like sets, it will show you the set on the page. So I thought, hmm, don't quite know how I'm going to style them. But I did really love the patterning of that. And I loved it so much. We may have a few variations of it. Pick those up in a size 10 for reference as well. And then the bra picked up in a 34D. We all know I'm hit and miss with my girls. I am measuring at 34 double D. I don't like wearing a double D because I feel like a nun and I feel like I'm in a vice. And I think while they're young and pretty perky, I'm not going to lie, I would like to, when I need to, be able to show them off in a nice bit of cleavage on a dress. So I wear a size down. I picked up the bra, 34 D. Now they do two bra variations of this. You know where I'm going. You know what else is in the bag, don't you? This was, as I say, 36 pound, but, oh, Look at that. Is that not just va va vum? It's got gold detailing on the straps, which is also what you have. Canon, don't focus on me. Focus on this beauty. Gold detailing on the straps, which is also on the underwear. But just look. And it's not massively padded. It's only like a little soft bit, like a bit of cushioning. But I saw it and I was like, oh, yes. And as I say, this I think could be one like when you want a little bit of a push-up, like if you've got that nice little low-cut dress on and you want a bit of a, you know where we're going with this. But uh, yeah, absolutely love that. And you know what I'm not loving? You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Happens every time. Canon. Canon, I've just charged all your batteries up, darling. But before you um, rudely shut down on me, I'm going to show you the matching thing that I got with it. Stockings once again. Now these are buy one get one free at the moment on our summer So they range between 10 and 15 pound for a pair But they are basically they call them a plain lace hold up And I like a hold up because they literally hold themselves up You haven't got to faff around pulling it about and that and I thought you know what I haven't actually got matching sets with stockings because I would normally just say if I wore a set have like black or white stockings but when i saw the hero ones i thought fabulous that's a full set and this is a full set so as i say i don't wear the stockings for myself guys please don't think why is she buying stockings i do not parade around the house in stockings but it's always good to have a nice set just when as i say who knows what am i now 28 i've got two more years traveling single solo life um who knows who knows but yeah i thought it's nice to get a full set ain't it if i can get a full set Hey ho, I treat myself. I mean, you know what? I might even um, wear the stockings for myself. And you know what? I really want to do a boudoir shoot. I would love, love, love to do a boudoir shoot. So you know what? It might come in handy one day. Now I'm going to quickly change this battery because Canon, you're being very rude and we've got a whole bag of goodies to get into. See you in a minute. There we go. And I hope there's no more interruptions. All right? Canon, no. Oh, right. So they've got a few new little sets, what they call... I feel these are called like a knicker box. Are you part of knicker box collection? Potentially not, but they give me knicker box vibe. Now knicker box is a brand within Ann Summers, which is kind of, I'd say more along the lines of like Boo Avenue, like a little bit cute, girly, because 
I think when it comes to lingerie, people have this misconception that Anne Summers is pure raunchy. And don't get me wrong, you do get the more risque bits in Anne Summers. Whereas when you look at, say, for example, Boo Avenue, it's very cute, feminine, like ditzy prints and florals, and very cute. Anne Summers, I feel, are slowly branching into that, but just very subtly. Like, it's still got a bit of pizzazz, but just very subtly. So I saw this, and again, it's got the two straps, so it must definitely be a vibe at the moment. And I got it in a size 10. These were £9. So actually, a lot more on the affordable side, I would say. Again, we've got the two straps, so I don't quite know, again, how I would wear that. But you do have a slightly thicker thong back, and it is of the mesh material. And then the bra, I did not think was bad at all. The bra was £22. So a very, you can see the contrast between like the more risque lacy numbers to this being a normal one. This has removable pads. So if you didn't want the slight cushioning on it, you can take it out. But I just thought this was a really nice one like for chucking on to go to work just when you want to feel a bit feminine and also because of how soft the material is this is perfect when it's mother nature you know when it's like the girls are sore like they're heavy they're sore they don't want to be in a vice it does still have boning and we have the wiring at the bottom but it's an ever so soft boning and you know me i am obsessed at the moment with the crisscross style on the bras I'm slowly getting there with the crisscross on the underwear, but I do like it when the bras have the crisscross over because I think it kind of makes them look bigger. I think where you have that distraction, it kind of like amplifies them a bit more and I'm all here for it. I'm all here for it. And you know what I'm all here for? They did this in another colour. You know where we're going with this, don't you? You know where we're going. So yes, I absolutely love that. And I just thought it's nice to have a mixture. And I was going through my underwear collection, which you're probably thinking, Shan, you actually don't need any. And I'm going to agree with you there. But I've worked a lot of hours this month and I wanted to treat myself. And I saw these and I was like, I'm treating myself. I tend to... I go through stages with my underwear and then I have like huge clear outs. So I had a look through it a few weeks ago and I thought, right, what haven't I got in there? Like certain colours, certain styles. And these were pieces that I thought I haven't got. Like I have a few greens, but they're more dark emerald greens, like a wintry side. Whenever I do what I would class as a big underwear shop, which is something like this, I only do this twice a year. I do it in spring slash summer, and then I'll do another one like autumn slash winter because I do think it's important. And I think it's nice just to revamp your underwear every now and again. And that doesn't mean that I actually get rid of any because I'm very, very conscientious with my underwear. Like everything is hand washed and I like to soak it and I like to look after it. And I think it's nice to look after your underwear, especially the lace ones. Oh my God, my lounge pieces that are pure lace, like I have panic attacks when mum's like, oh, I'm going to put them in the washing machine. I'm like, please, please, please. I'll do them when I get home because I just have a fear that they're going to go in a machine, there's going to be a prong or something and it's going to rip it to shreds. So if I can just soak them all in my Fabulosa 20 degree cleaner, I will do that and hang them out on the line to dry it. We are all good to go. But yeah, there's only a few that I get rid of along the way probably like strapless or plain black and white because those ones i'll just get either from asda tesco or primark just like basics that you know like they're not going to wash up great i have got a staple black and white one now that i got from boo avenue where did i get those was it earlier on in the year i think it was like around valentine's day oh i've done two hauls i think this year was my boo avenue this year or the end of last year oopsie okay maybe i have done a spring and summer shop at Anne summers and boo avenue this year oopsie i do apologize but um yeah i picked up a black and a white like just a plain non-padded lace and i got it in a lemon as well and those i think are staples and hopefully when it comes around to autumn and winter i want to maybe pick them up in like a nice navy blue and maybe like a chocolate brown just for like um those months you know unwrap it in a way as always right ah so i said like they're bringing new pieces out within the collections and this is this is not something i'm going to get any use of right about now however 
think of my logic for this. So this is an area of which I have never ventured into. But I'm thinking, right, it's getting hot. I do a lot of walks at the moment, okay? I'm doing like 12, 30 my walks on a Saturday. And sometimes when you're in nature, you get caught short. And there is nothing worse than literally running to find la toilette. And now I know this is not great. I know this is not sanitary. But even if I was to find a toilet, I'm very... I'm very funny with toilets, guys, okay? Like, if it's not my toilet or it's not a toilet, I know. I'm very, very funny. I'm like, I'm that person that will put the paper around on the seat. So I saw this little addition to the hero set, like with the stockings. And I thought, Shan, are you actually going to get that? And I thought, you know what? Why not? Why not? And I saw it and I thought, that would be great to wear if I was on a walk and got caught short. I think if you know what I'm going to say, we are venturing into the world of something less. I don't want to say it because I don't know if I'm going to get demonetized and they might ban my channel. But they are a piece of underwear that has a certain part missing. And I just think this is the way forward, perhaps, when you're out and about in nature and could potentially get short. Yeah, I think, I think we know where we're going. We don't need to show, but... This is the Hero Thong, and this was size 10, £15. But as you can maybe see from there, there's a little bit missing. But you know what? Again, it's always handy to have in your wardrobe. And as I say, you never know what can happen in life. So I thought, I haven't really tried that side. And that to me is like the raunchy side of Anne Summers. I'm like, oh my God. But then I'm like, what is there? No, what is wrong with a woman buying whatever she wants? And guys, you do you. Buy new things, try new things. And even if you're wearing it, not as a sexual idea, you're literally thinking, God, if I'm on a run and I get caught short, we've all been there and I need to like pop myself somewhere. I don't want to be pulling everything down. It's kind of a bit, it's going to sound very crude, like easier way. But yeah, um, I might have got carried away because I actually bought some staple colours in those as well. I haven't just got the bougie hero one because I thought that's way too nice to be going running in. Like I wouldn't go running in a matching set. I'm in my Primark stuff and my gym wear, you know. We have to be uh, have to be sensible on terms like this. But where's the rest? While we're on this so that I can get them all together. Ah, is that them? Yes, so I also picked them up in, it was, you could get a pack of three, which I think worked out slightly cheaper, but they didn't have my size. So I got them separately. And these were £6 each. And they are all the same style, but they are just a staple black. And obviously it's got the tape on it at the moment. Very stretchy, very stretchy indeed. And then we have a red, because I thought a red's nice. These are pretty much like a G-string back as well, because obviously if you've got, no part somewhere you're not going to have a big bit of material on the back are you and i also got them in a white so again these i think are more likely for if i was to wear what i'm going running and even so you know like summer's coming up now i might go to london for the day i really want to go to like a festival and i just preempt these things that i'm gonna be somewhere and i'm not going to be able to go to wee wee yep I'm not using them probably for the reasons that most people use them. I don't have that purpose. I'm using it thinking of like convenience if I need to go a wee wee. Standard churn, eh? Absolutely standard churn. Right. I have no colour of this in my lingerie collection. And when I saw it, I was like, you know what? Yes, I need you. So you know that gorgeous green set we just got? Where are we? £9 for the thong and 22 for the bra. Just look at this gorgeous colour. I don't own any lilac at all in my underwear collection. Out of all the colours I have, I'll tell a lie, I own one. I own one lilac slash lavender lounge lace balcony bra set that's the only lilac i have but in my main bra collection i don't own any lilac and you know what i saw this and i was like oh, 
you are gorgeous and I wouldn't mind experimenting with this colour as I say I'm not really like lilac-y purple that's not really my vibe but I'm slowly trying to get there okay and then look at the bra the bra is just again it has the little strap in where it comes down but what a gorgeous colour and I think for £22 that actually looks a lot more expensive than what you would pay what you think you would pay for like this kind of gives me MS vibes because i have been looking in MS guys because a lot of you have been saying to me like that shop is killing it at the moment for underwear and you're not wrong they had some gorgeous bits when we went down to lakeside when me mum and dada went to las iguanas oh my god i had a little detour you would have seen on clip they had like a set with lemons on and i'm like oh, okay i need to get out because you're actually going to take my money again but I love this. So who knows? We could actually have like an M&S lingerie haul. If you go to M&S and you buy lingerie, is there a range or a particular style name that you would recommend? So like, say for example, if someone said to me, what would you recommend for Man Summers? I'm like the hero range, like all day, every day. If you shop at M&S and have a particular favourite, please do let me know as I say, because it does get raved about. And I'm like, I maybe need to jump on that. And then as I say, because it is a buy one, get one free, they didn't have it in the green, but I managed to get the lavender lace holdups for this. So I thought, you know what? Cute. And I like this because it's not full lavender. It's nude, kind of like, you know, when you have your skin tone tights, what you get from Primark, that color with just the nice matching little lilac bit on top. So yeah, I really, really like that. And I thought, hmm, it's a nice little fresh new color to add to the set. I mean, now I'm probably going to be on the hunt for more lilac ones. And <laughs> just addicted, just addicted. I cannot help it, guys. I cannot help it. Like when I say I cannot help, I found the first bra and it had a few variations. So the bottoms are interchangeable. I could wear this with the padded one and vice versa. But you know what I was saying about the Hero range being the first for the high-waisted briefs? These were £19 pricey, but... Oh, guys... I just think they're gorgeous. So this is what I mean. You have the really high leg cut, which if you know me, I'm very fussy about the cuts on my leg because if it's the wrong cut, I look like tree stump vibes. These are the perfect little cut. And then as they go around the back, they are a full brief, but I think with the mesh, they're actually quite, I think they're quite lovely. I mean, I know they're probably not going to be to everyone's taste, but I do think they're really lovely. And I think they look really flattering on. And then the bra... I, I actually could not decide so that was why I got both this was £36 as well but this is the non-wired bra so this is basically like a lounge bra just pure lace you have your bone in the bone in is a lot more rigid in this this is like a thick wiring in it you have your gold detailing in the middle as you can see but the actual bra itself is just pure lace they do put kind of like the little crease in there to cover your nip nip so you don't have to wear nipple covers if you was to wear it out but i mean maybe see something like this i would like to wear under like a mesh top you know like going back to the days when it was like mesh or netted i think something like this could look really classy but edgy or if you was to wear this with just like a black blazer over the top done up so you just see like the cleavage line you don't necessarily see the girls with say like a nice high-waisted pencil skirt mm. love it this color is a bit of me let me tell you that is a bit of me <laughs> i'm thinking of these for the winter as well so this i think would be great for winter with a big oversized t-shirt dress like when you want to kind of maybe jazz up and make an outfit look a little bit more cooler but again we're going for those convenience vibes i was thinking with this right if you've ever been winter wonderland the queue for the toilets is ridiculous okay but there are a lot of places nearby where you can go in like public toilets again i would be there with my toilet paper but these, I think, if that was worn with, no, I would wear this with normal underwear and then you would just have to move it across. But I got some, as you can read that, because I'm not going to say it just in case, but some fishnet tights. And again, I'm thinking of convenience. I'm thinking like if I'm at Winter Wonderland, like them with a big oversized like t-shirt style jumper dress, 
my Tommy Hill figure like chunky military style boot good to go and then when you do need to get caught short and you're running out I wouldn't wear that type of underwear with this as well because obviously you are walking around you are going to be sitting on like public transport and that no one needs that so I would wear like normal undies with this and then you would just have to pull aside or whatever because I don't know I just get does anyone else get really funny when it's like not your own toilet I feel like I'm really weird saying that but yeah, I can't help it. If it's not my toilet or it's not a toilet that I know, I'm just like, <gasps> no. I just, it, it creeps me out, guys. I get a little bit of heebie-jeebies. And then, so I have one of my friends is getting married next year. And we are having a hen do. So I've started to, like, look for little bits and bobs to see, like, right, what is worth like trying to jazz it up and make it a little bit fun and i saw these and i thought these would actually be really really fun for her so i am going to have a look through i will of course open them and i need to see what's on them and then i'll buy another set but i got some naughty notes and apparently these are like it says surprise your lover with these naughty notes leave one of these sticky notes exactly where you know they'll find it and wait for their reaction perfect for a cheeky gift for your partner in crime i mean she is my partner in crime we are like ride or die but this will not be for my benefit i can tell you that right now and then i saw these and i was like oh you can't you can't not have a hen do without like funny dice so i'm definitely gonna end up picking up another one because i think these are just fun for like a girl's night in any way just if you're having a bit tipsy you can roll this see what it says and then you're like right what's your best time of this because girls we talk about that stuff guys are probably like why do you talk about that i think there's nothing better than sitting down with a girlfriend sitting there having a glass of wine a bit of food and you just go to town and you can talk because you exchange tips you exchange like stories and then if you think oh my god that's embarrassing guarantee someone else has been through it too so these are the four play dice and i think these were really inexpensive i think that was about a five or each which if you're doing say like a hem party as i say or a girl's night or a birthday you could do a little hamper i think these are like quite funny little gifts i remember i always used to get dada the jelly man parts and i would get mum the jelly woman parts and they're just little like gimmicks i think they used to be like 350 and then you can get the man's part in pasta shape i think i would like to get that for mummy g for her birthday but I'd, i think she's going to be mortified if she opens that mummy's very open like we all know me and mum our relationship is we say it as it is and that's it but she that is the one shot that i see her get uncomfortable in boo avenue she's fine she'll walk around because boo avenue is just underwear when we go into ann summers and say like we look at the underwear and she's like oh okay when i pick some of these bits up she's like oh okay and then if you go into say like the costumes or the toy department she's like I'm just gonna wait outside like she gets a little bit i'm not embarrassed but a little bit uneasy in that circumstance so i'm like okay but yeah i saw these and i was just like they're gonna be fun and then this last one so guys you know me i love 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 a bodysuit okay and again this is going through the vibe of the part with the missing bit but i thought you know what i actually love it that much i don't care so i picked it up in a size small which is eight to ten i find with the dual size in it can sometimes be a little bit temperamental i've got mediums before and like they're miles too long in the body because i'm only like five two five three i don't have a long torso and i think they model these on models who have these long torsos that's just not me so i picked up in a size eight to ten and this was 32 pound which for a body superman summers i think is really good quality but look at that i mean this is giving me real like hero dupe vibes i think this is like next level you have this most gorgeous detail in the top now this you could wear knit covers and this is definitely the top like i would wear under a blazer with like nice jeans i think this is absolutely gorgeous it comes down you have your lovely red lace bit and then the back is completely cut out completely cut out and also stuff like this guys because as i say i would love to do a boudoir shoot so that was kind of on my mind when i was buying this i'm nowhere near doing a boudoir shoot because number one i need to get my body back into shape number two then things are expensive i inquired for one last year and it was about four thousand pound and i'm like oh okay 
maybe something like for next year or when I'm 30 and like I need to get tan I just I want to get to that point where I'm like you know what I feel great so now is the time to do it so this could be sitting in my wardrobe for ages but something like this again you could customize with jeans and a nice top and also sometimes stuff like this i like to chuck on with just a pair of like my little silky night shorts if it's hot you want as less clothing on as possible i mean the postman might get a shock if i went to the door in it but at the end of the day when i'm asleep i need to be comfy and i don't want to be hot and oh no that's absolutely not the point but 32 pound i thought was really really good for that because as i say sometimes there's a set at the moment i think it's called lavish and they have this most gorgeous blue one but they didn't have my size and i was absolutely gutted and that's like 55 quid so for that i think because it is it doesn't have a lot of detailing i mean it does but it's just lace it doesn't have like the corseted top and then the structure and all the material and everything like that so i think that's why that's particularly cheaper compared to the rest but um yes that is the end of the Anne Summers haul. We have definitely delved into unknown territory here. But you know what? We're young once. Let's go with it. So, my lovelies, as I say, I will try and leave as much as I can linked down below. Um, With some of them, I might link one item, but you will always see the rest of them at the bottom. Because I'm normally doing them like in a set. Because, as I say... You should don't let you put, I think it's like 500 characters they let you, which sometimes when you put a link in, it's like, that is a lot of characters. Why is my phone bleeping away? Right, okay. It's actually, I'm filming this Thursday just before I go away because I'm having a little detox weekend at the moment. So when you're watching this, I will probably be in a hill somewhere, in a field. I'm going on like a little solo hiking just to get away, have a bit of a detox, and then I'm having a nice catch up with a friend on Sunday, and we're going to go into London, have some cocktails, and go and see the ruins, so that's going to be fun, we're going to go and look at rocks, and then go and see the ruins, no, go and look at the rocks, and then go and have some cocktails, that's what I meant to say, but yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this video, it has been a little bit of a different Anne Summers, as I say, we have some staple bits, we have some new bits, if there are any pieces from Anne Summers that you think I need to try, drop me a dm leave me a comment down below or drop me an email and if there's any other particular lingerie brands that you'd like me to try again let me know i normally stick with ann summers and boo avenue we all know primark is my ride or die for the six pound rib sets but m and i definitely feel like i need to give a go but if there's any other websites you want me to try shops let me know leave it down below contact us however you like to and then before you know it we'll be sitting there having a bit of a ribbit rabbit won't we because i love a chit chat but guys if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And as I say, leave us a comment. What was your favourite part, actually? And is there is there anything you'd be like, oh, no, I wouldn't go near that? Let me know. Because as I say, lingerie to everyone is so individual and it's so personal to that person. So, yes, any questions, fire away. Take care, guys. Stay safe, as always. And I shall see you tomorrow. What we got tomorrow? <gasps> sit down with shan and it's one that you guys actually requested me to do i brought it up beforehand and you were like yes that needs to be done so i hope you enjoy it i will be back monday as normal i hope monday's upload might be a little bit delayed i'm not entirely sure because it depends what time i get back sunday night and saturday whether i can film if there's any problems i'll let you know on the community post all right but yes bye guys Thanks.